Yeah, I said, I said I can give you more. Just give me a second. Chill out, buddy. There's more. There's clearly so much more cake. I don't know why it, like, adds to your enjoyment that I feed it to you. Like, it's it just, you could, you could grab it yourself, but I'll keep feeding it to you if you want. How's it going everyone? My name is Graham and welcome to Drunk Halloween 2017, the second ever Drunk Halloween. It's there's two hands both showing two. It doesn't mean four, it means two. It only means two. It's the second one. Today we're playing Bon Bon. I wanted to start out with a new game. This one just came out. There's going to be a focus on small indie games, really short titles, a big focus on jump scares. So if you're like me and you don't handle jump scares that well, maybe the series won't be for you. Big scares, possibly flashing lights, loud noises, things like that. Anything that you might be sensitive to, be warned about that. So Junk Halloween was a stupid idea I came up with last year. The idea is to get a bit of a buzz on before playing some horror games. So I was working on that the last little while. At the start of every game, there'll be a shot. This cool shot glass with a bear on it. I like that. Probably easier to see now. So last year I was doing shots of Fireball Whiskey. Not because I love Fireball Whiskey, but because it's the only thing I had. This year I'm doing it because it's tr tradition now, I guess. And when there are jump scares, I will be taking like sips of drinks. What else can I say? Is there anything else I can say to put this off? I really don't handle horror games well. Was that just a light on the roof when it panned up or was that a creepy hooded figure? I think it was just a light. But I sketched myself out a little bit. I just get so stressed out playing horror games. And so this is like my nightmare. This is, I do this for you guys, <laughs> not for myself. I don't get much enjoyment out of this. Use the mouse to look around. Oh my God, am I a baby? Is, is this character actually like a child? Guys, it's Sandpit Turtle. It's Sandpit Turtle. Usually kids are a scary thing, but usually usually you're playing as like a grown-up. I'm not used to playing as a kid. Play with Wobbly Dog, give him a push, rotate him. I could rotate him a little. Rotating's not working. I guess I'll just say hello to him. That's not how most children say hello. It's a very abnormal hello. Just push him. Get Get rid of Wobbly Dog. I'm not, I'm not into Wobbly Dog right now. I want to go play with Sandpit Turtle. <laughs> Use the keys to toddle. Just, that's why they're called toddlers. They're always toddling around. I say that like a joke. It, that might be a real thing. I have no idea. Don't leave your new balls outside. You'll lose them. Oh, good. Good. She doesn't talk like a horrible creature like I do. Buzzy the Spade. Oh, it's a little bee spade. I like it. I like Buzzy the Spade. Say hello. No, I don't like that. Don't I don't like the way you sell, say hello, kid. Let's go hide in the caterpillar, maybe? Let's just wait it out over here. Nothing bad's ever happened inside a giant rainbow caterpillar before. Alright, well, maybe I'll go play with this big balloon. Oh, it's, no, it's one of those Boingo, Boingo, Boingo guys. Yeah, no one's nothing bad's ever happened with a bouncy hopper. Why? Oh, what the hell? This is the worst control scheme I've ever seen. I have to hold R and use W A S D. R is using one of the fingers I need for that. That just doesn't work very well. Fun pinwheel. Play with rainbow face. Chuck him over there. Make a nice collection of toys. Maybe if we amass everything into one place. This is our safety. We just put all our toys in one place. Everything will be safe. What the fuck is that? What is this giant rat beast? Is it moving? Oh, it's wiggling its fingers. Okay, that thing moves. That thing can move. Uh, how would you like Mrs. Purple? I can give you Mrs. Purple if you want. No, no, no. Over the fence. Over the fence. Throw. Throw Mrs. Purple. Damn it, this kid doesn't have a very good arm. <laughs> oh, I can't go over the fence. Just fell over for no reason. Don't fall over and then look at the rat monster. That freaks me out. That's enough of that. 
that's enough of everything. I thought I was in the mood for this. I thought I was, I thought it was just like, yeah, you know what? I went and saw it in theaters. I can handle scary things now. I'm a different person than I was a year ago. Bring them inside, please. Oh, I don't want to. Mr. Lemon, if we bring Mr. Lemon inside, will you be happy? Don't lose your new balls. Bring them inside, please. All of them? Find three more balls. Okay. I don't think I only saw one more. Can I lob it into the house here? Because I don't want to walk up those stairs again. Oh, bank shot. Yeah. Oh, of course there's another one back here. Mrs. Apple. We got lemon, apple, and purple. Couldn't have been Mr. Grape or anything. You had to just make it a color. No, oh, fuck. Oh, God. The big rat beast broke through the fence, hey? Hmm. Well, he doesn't seem so scary. He's just kind of hanging out. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Don't get too close to him. Oh! Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. I'm going to go get it. Uh, I just want to keep up this conversation here. I, it's rude to break eye contact, so I would just I think I'm just going to wander. Oh, it fucking went in the caterpillar, didn't it? I'm just going to go hang out over here. Nice and quiet like. How you been? How you been, rat man? Seems like you got a pretty chill life over on the other side of the fence. I don't know why you felt the need to come to this side of the fence, but hey, I got to respect your decision. Moving up in the world, you want to try new things, I suppose. It's hard to move when holding the ball for some fucking reason. I guess because you're a little kid. It's time to go inside. All right. Oh, did we get away from the rat? That's good. Guaranteed he's coming back at some point, though. Fun, fun cartoons. Now let us go toddle around some more. Just hop down. Just give the little hop off the couch there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Let's play with the Etch-a-Sketch. Or Draw Man, I should say. Oh, can we erase Draw Man? That would be hilarious. No, you can't. Alright, just drop it. Get rid of it. We don't need it. I don't want to put them away. Find all four rubber rings and put them in the box. Ugh. The green ring. Where's my box? Chuck it. Bank shot. Kobe. Are two of them just next to the box? That makes it nice and easy, doesn't it? Oh man, this is so easy. Who knew this game would be so simple? Three is when shit happened last time, so I'm not too happy about that. Alright, there's one last one hidden in this dark corner. Fuck that. Oh, come on. All right, monster blocks up next. In you go. I already found another one over here while I was looking for rings. He was a little bit hidden. And go for it. Man, you just... Not not an athlete, this one. Don't bother buying him any, like, sports equipment or anything. You better hope he's funny or, like, a thinker. Put some money in a college fund, maybe. Say hello, yellow face. There's no monster blocks in this weird room, this weird dark space is there. Because that would be no fair, I can't see anything. What's beyond this fence though? Just some ducks on the wall. Oh, there's a monster block over here though. Oh, what the fuck? Get out of here, man! Oh. <laughs> that was just unsettling. I didn't, I, I didn't like that. That was instant clammy hands. Why? Reminds me of like Donnie Darko or something to have this weird watchful creature that doesn't actually really do anything. Are you gonna give me the fourth one again? Fork it over. Ding 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 ding. Monster block time. Quit scratching your nip and give me the monster block. Holding out on me, guy. I'm scared to look anywhere else. Oh, it's it's up on the chair here. There we go. I'm keeping an eye on you. There. Is that a is that a come hither, hither motion? Oh, find all four tiny people. What is a tiny people? Oh, this guy, like this guy, tiny lady. Pee wee, he's a robot. I don't think he'll count. 
Okay, but maybe she'll just be happy I made an effort to clean up at least. My cat was bored and wanted to come keep me company, so she's sitting on my lap. It's your own fault for wanting attention if I scream at you when I get scared. Georgie. Oh, I like the looks of Georgie, but I don't think that's a tiny people. Well, look at him just hover away. Oh, one of the tiny people is right at this guy's gut. Come on, man. Get out of the way. All right. All right, you're not so scary. You're not going to eat me when I'm an inch away from you there? That That's a good sign. What the fuck? I can go into a different room here? What is this hidden corner that I've wandered into? Okay, well, I can't see a damn thing, so my guess is that there's nothing there to collect. I can't find any more. I don't know if I have four of these, Mom. Oh, this guy. All right, well, there's three out of four. And... Hmm? Yes, you wanted something. Say hello to Bon Bon. Oh, he's Bon Bon. Come on, it's time to tidy up. Okay. I didn't die whispering to Bon Bon in the language of the devil, so... Georgie went back in place? That's weird. Get out of here, Flutter Hog. We're an unwanted gift. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Open your eyes. I didn't find the I didn't find the last guy. I didn't find the last guy. Two? You you have to leave, Cat, or I'm about to throw you across the room when I get scared. No, don't add light. Don't add light. Don't now, flick the light on. A big birthday slice for you and. Ugh. Don't leave me. Where are you going? Don't leave me. But the, I didn't even find the fourth little man. Your father. Back in a minute. No, don't leave me. There's a giant rat beast just standing right there. Don't leave me alone in an unlit room. Why is nothing happening? There's just chills going up and down my back right now. What the fuck is going on? Uh, oh my god. What is wrong with you, Bon Bon? What have you done? That was the worst. I don't even think I, I, don't even think I cleaned up all my toys. Chatterbox, you gotta help me out here. We gotta call the police. Quickly. It's quickly. We need, I need your phone. Chatterbox, drop your damn phone. I need to make a call. No! No, it's stuck on there. All right, give him a big push then. Chatterbox, you're useless. Hey, buddy. I'm just going to eat my cake, I think, here. First, I'm going to check to make sure it doesn't have poison in it. Oh, you wanted this piece? All right, there you go, buddy. Oh, I gave it to him. I gave him the cake. That's actually what he wanted. He wanted the cake. I did it. Oh. Well, I'm glad you eat cake and not little boys. Do you want another piece of cake, Bon Bon? Yeah, I can give you more cake. Hold out your hand again. That was adorable. Yeah. No, of course. Don't even mention it. It's no problem. I can give you all the cake you want. You can eat the entire thing. I don't care if my mom blames me. Just don't eat me. You're getting a little chatty there, Bon Bon. You usually don't make this much noise. No wonder you're so fat. You can just eat half a cake in one sitting. Do you still want more? Yeah, I, I said. I said I can give you more. Just give me a second. Let the mouse move. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Chill out, buddy. There's more. There's clearly so much more cake. I don't know why it, like, adds to your enjoyment that I feed it to you. Like, it's it just... You could, you could grab it yourself, but I'll keep feeding it to you if you want. Look, something even glitched out, and I think we may have just duplicated a piece. <laughs> oh no, I picked it up, up from the middle of the cake, I think is what happened there. Satisfied yet? Come on, big guy, you're not going to tell me that that's not enough cake. That's plenty of cake. Oh, he's got some gross, like, slobber lines coming out of his mouth. I think you've had enough, Bon Bon. Save some for me. I'm the birthday boy. Maybe it's your birthday too. I don't know. That wasn't established. If so, I'm sorry. You can have more cake if you want. You're being unreasonable. This cake was meant for everyone, Bon Bon. It's so difficult to reach. Why is it so far away? I can't even... He's gonna get so pissed. I can't grab it, Bon Bon. I can't. It's too far away. My arms are too stumpy. I can't! 
Jello man! <laughs> no, he's gonna fucking kill me. I can't. Say go away. I can't. Go away. I can't. Go away. This, I can't reach any more cake. I've given you everything I can. No, please don't be bad with Bon Bon. Please, I can't. I'm trying to. I tried so hard to give me more cake. I can't. Oh, there. Jesus. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. You can just feed yourself. Just eat your own cake, Bon Bon. Jesus Christ. <sighs> A giant rat that lives in our house. <sighs> okay. That wasn't hello, Daddy. I don't understand. Oh. Oh, is this a recording of my dad? Hans and Hilda had no mother because she died whilst giving birth to their third sibling named Engel, who had been sent away to live with the gypsies. I see no bonbon in the room. Even when the miller went away to the market. One day, Hans was especially greedy, and Hilda was especially lazy, and the old miller wept with anger as he locked them in the cellar to teach them to be good. Let us try to escape and live with That's the gypsies. That's bad parenting. I've never had kids, but I don't think locking them in the basement is the best option. Is that all Bon Bon's trying to do? He's just trying to show me how to get to the gypsies? I want to meet the gypsies. That sounds kind of fun. Wacky adventures me and Bon Bon would go on. I'd be playing with my little balls and little Mr. Buzz Buzz the shovel or whatever his name was. Bon Bon would eat a smorgasbord like Templeton the rat. It would be wacky and delightful and not at all terrifying. The big brown rat was waiting. I will only help the boy child to escape and show him the way to the gypsy's camp, said the big brown That's just not fair. The girl child will stay behind to be my wife. Come back once you've organized the wedding. The rat wanted to marry the children? What the fuck? So Hans and Hilda waited until their father left the mine. The next day, when the miller was out bartering for new grain, he made a trail of breadcrumbs all round the mill and into the cellar to show the wedding guests where to go. They took the most important pages out of the hymnal so that the priest would have the right words to say. Everyone's just going along with this? Everyone's okay with this f female and, and rat wedding that's happening? No one's objecting, being like, ah, excuse me. I don't think this rat can legally get married in this state. That's strictly reserved for California and Colorado and some of the other wackier states. The wedding guests were already assembled. There were mice and bulls and stoats in the congregation. The choir was made up of crows who were already singing. Are there people at this wedding too? Spider with spectacles on. Were the children people, or is everyone animals? Hans walked Hilda down the aisle, and the big brown rat was waiting. The weasel said, "Do you accept this offered paw in binding an inescapable holy matrimony, Hilda girl child?" There you have it. It's a little girl. Her name is Girl Child. It confirms it. Said, you take this innocent young hand for your very own Engel Monstrous Rat Baby. I do. Who named him Engel Monstrous Rat Baby? Wait, Engel was the name of the third child that they died in childbirth with. Did he just marry his brother? But his brother's a rat? Me either. That's what all of that was for? His brother Engel, and never rescued Hilda. The old miller finally hung himself, but nobody minded. What the fuck? That was all that was for? Was just to become a beggar in the end? And then he hung him. the other guy hung himself and... You piece of shit rat. You're a dickhead. Why would you do that? All of that was for so little payoff. Was it really worth it? Is the lesson that rats are piece of shit animals and they shouldn't be trusted? Bon Bon. Bon Bon, I think we need to have a talk here. I don't know if I want you to be my friend anymore now that I know what rats are capable of. Why do I have this weird disco light in my room? Alright, 
Grab light bug. Yes, yes, this will be useful. Oh, God, why is there so many of these tiny people everywhere? There's some of my other toys, though, too. I also like my wallpaper. I wish I had wallpaper that cool as a kid. Look at this one directly to the light bug's right arm here, though. It's a very stumpy looking fox. <laughs> Alright, Bon Bon. I imagine you're in here somewhere. Probably still mad at me for not giving you enough cake. Are these little doodle hogs or whatever they were called playing Rock'em Sock'em Robots over here? What's going on? What's this big light bright that they got over here? Oh! Oh, you ripped the wheels off of the, the guy! I liked that toy. I gave him a big push. Bobbly dog. What did you little bastards do? And why do I own so many of you? We got Koala Llama, Rhino Dial, Kangafant, and the Flutter Hog. I do like all these. Why do I have so many of you though? Especially if you're murderous bastards ripping the limbs off of my other toys. I vote we leave the room. There's some unsavory things going on in here. Oh, shit. Uh, so this is no longer an option? I don't like this toy chest here. There's probably something going on in there. All right, put down the light bug. Investigate the chest. Mr. Boxface. No, no, I'm not going to say hello to it. If the option was open it, then yeah, probably I'd do that. Hello? No, I don't want to say hello to it. Oh, dope castle toy. Those things are the best. Did someone just throw that little man? Why did the little man just fall over there? Alright, there's probably something in this closet, right? Am I kicking over these little people, or is that happening independently? I'm kicking them over. The only thing left to do is open this closet, I guess. And that doesn't do anything. Alright, light bug, it's just you and me. And, and probably Bon Bon, but he's not invited. He's an unwanted guest. Oh, fuck, there's something in my bed, isn't there? No. Why? I didn't notice that before. I have no idea if that happened recently or not. Just, oh, shit, all the lights just went out. Oh, fuck. Fuck this. Oh, no. This is the worst. They all like chuckle when they get kicked. Oh, there's another, is there another room over this way? What the hell is this? Oh, no. Oh, hey, you're back. He's just trying to get out? Yeah, probably. Those guys, Wobbly Dog people, everyone was trying to rip apart Wobbly Dog just a second ago. I'm, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let you go, Wobbly Dog. You're gonna have to go, you lead the way, okay? I'm just gonna follow you, buddy. What did you get stuck on, Wobbly Dog? No! Alright. No, I'm gonna need you to go this way. Oh, fuck. I lost Wobbly Dog. I don't know what happened to him. This game took a fucking turn. Let me, let me in, please. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't want to turn around. Oh, that's, that's gotta be Bon Bon, right? Oh, I don't know. I feel like the color just flushed from my fucking face. They're fighting out there? Is my dad not dead? Oh, fuck! No, I was just trying to get out of bed! <laughs> Escape, what? What? Escape? Bon Bon's right goddamn there! What am I escaping from? He's right fucking there! There's no escape! How am I supposed to How escape? How? Why? Go through the door! Go through the door, you dumb bastard! Ugh. Oh. Come on, you stupid little kid, why wouldn't you run through the fucking door? <sighs> Grab Wobbly Dog, take Wobbly Dog with you. Hide? Oh, okay, just crawl under the bed. This seems like a good hiding spot. There's not a chance he saw you come under here, right? Grab, grab your fucking light toy. No. 
This is a very temporary hiding place at best, I would say. No. Bon Bon's way too fat for that thing. He probably would have broken it. Oh, is that his greasy tail whipping around over there? I see Bon Bon. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Get him, go away. Go away from here. That's a relief. Was it literally just a nightmare? Night, kiddo. Happy birthday. Good night, love. So my dad's not dead and there is no horrible rat beast? Oh. Yeah, there is. What is he doing? Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, is this just a little, a little rat in a cage in the corner of my room here? <sighs> and my whole body just relaxed at the feeling of like, oh, I think that's the end of that story. Oh, good. Because I don't know if I could handle much more stress than that. Well, good, good. Got an achievement, finished the story, and learned to love your best friend, your new best friend. Five hidden achievements I never, never unlocked. No idea what it would have taken to get those. If you enjoyed Bon Bon, please rate it and perhaps tell a friend about it. Ooh, that one was much more about setting up like atmosphere and kind of continuous slow burning chills rather than like jump scare jump scare there wasn't really much jump scares but it still it got to me a little bit there was uh, some small frights to be had there I was too caught up in the moment to take any drinks for like the frights that definitely got me I'd say there's two arguably like three or four so I'll just kind of take some a mid-sized drink for that all right, stressful. I remember why I hate horror games. Decent first outing into Drunk Halloween. My suspicion is that this is more tame than the rest of the games. I think the other ones I picked are like 10, 15 minute, like jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit more worried about some of those ones. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next one will be uploaded tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. And I hope to see you again soon. I guess I should have a different sign-off or something, so happy Halloween.